thank you for joining me here on Heavenly Harvest Homestead. I'm just going to take you around and show you the farm. We'll do a little farm tour. It is overcast at the moment. Here, I feel a little drop on my head. And we're just going to look at everything that's going on. I hear my goats neighing and everything. And we're just going to talk about the circle of life for a minute. And I want to share something that happened with you this week. Um, if you've seen our video, a couple of videos back, or even on our Heavenly Harvest Homestead page on Facebook, we had a duckling that hatched. And it was with its mama, and it was in the brooder house, and it was like, it was three or four days old, and it started wanting to get into the water. So we let the door open, and we have a pond, as you can see. So what we did is we, um, we let it out, and it was down there swimming around, and you could see that in our video. But day before yesterday um, the circle of life came full force it came around and made that terrible circle that we don't want to talk about and that's death um, uh, I guess we should have put the male ducks up because once they got out on the water with mom and hatchling it kept wanting to drown the baby and mama would get in the middle of it because we have two male ducks um mama would get out there and get in the middle of it and we just thought they were playing well about 10 minutes later my husband and which is ken and the boys found her little bit a little hatchling over in the corner here of the pond drowned and the um, adults just up and mama was just walking so the males did what males do and that was um, sometimes they're not gentle to the babies that are born in the goats have to be separated or they will hurt the babies because they want to um, have their time with the moms again um, same with um, chickens and turkeys you have to take the mom and the babies out and I thought well because they're wild or they're on the pond then mom would know what to do well mom done as good as she could do but um, we here on Heavenly Harvest Homestead are saddened and we should have put the male ducks up while they were out on the pond and then when it was their time to be on the pond we should have put baby and hatchling up so that was the circle of life and it just it comes with farm life it comes with our own life because god tells us in ecclesiastes there's a time for every season under the heaven there's a time to be born and there's a time to die there's a time to plant and there's a time to pluck up, which is harvest. So things happen here on the farm. Things happen in life. It comes full circle. You know, I was born into this world and one day I will create my circle of life and I will go back from the dust of whence I came and I will, when I close my eyes here, I will wake up in heaven and how do you think I know that I will wake up in heaven because God tells me that if I accept him as my Lord and Savior that being um, absent with the body is to be present with the Lord and that I know that my eternal home that that's why Jesus came to be born of a virgin to die on that cross and be resurrected and raised three days later through the resurrection and ascended into heaven was for eternal life for all all that will believe in him and ask him for repentance and ask them him into his heart and I've done that so I've got my ticket and that will complete my circle of life just like the farm animals here they're born 
they have a purpose. Some of them we um, we keep as pets. Some are born to um, give back as bounty for us, and that's the way it is. And we have some beautiful, beautiful animals on this, and not one day do we not thank God for these animals. These animals, they're our love, they're our heritage, as you could tell by my last video that I put out that um, it's a heritage. It's a heritage that my grandfather left for us, or for me, I'll say for me, um, the love for animals. And they see me out here walking around right now, and they expect a treat. And that's how they're loved. They're loved and they're respected, even though, um, even though they're part of the bounty that God provides for us, for us to be able to sustain and grow and eat milk, meat, and that's it, you know. So I just wanted to, to let you know about the duck and everything and just give you a little, a little peepers of our animals and show you that we, you know, that it comes. You know, we had two turkeys that died on the farm lately. And it's because they have gateworm. I didn't know anything about gateworm. Gateworm is a parasite that gets in their throat. And when it gets in their throat, it closes up their esophagus and then their nose where they can't breathe. And because it was so hot, I just totally thought that they were panting because they were hot. But evidently, they had gateworm and I had to, I had to give the whole flock. Hey girls. See my girls, I had to give the whole flock medicine to get that. Let's see, here's my girls, Buttercup and Pickles. Even though they're spoiled rotten, they got a they got a mineral block over there. They've been given hay. They've already been fed one time, but they are so spoiled. <laughs> they're spoiled. And as you can see, we have our fryers. They're growing out. They're growing out here. They're growing out here. And they're doing good. They're going through that ugly stage where they're losing their fluffiness. And they are getting feathers. So that's what we've got, and um, Ken's going to come along with you uh, next week. He was, he built some boxes earlier in the week, and he told you about those, and this is another one that goes along with it, but he'll do it. And then you can see Savannah. She has her dog. She lives here with us while her house is being built and set up. So, and here's the duck ducks. Those mean old me and duck that drowned my my little duck duck. But so we're just out here and and we'll do a, a tour of the garden for you next week. We've uh, got some winter planting to do in these boxes and we've got barrels to set up. We've got uh, cucumbers to he made a video on how to make um tomato tomato spaghetti sauce so he's going to share that with you so yeah so i just wanted to come to you and tell you about the ducks this sunday and probably tomorrow he'll have the tomato the tomato sauce or the spaghetti sauce video finished edited and ready to go up but I'm here on my phone and as you can see it goes up and down and we're talking But I just wanted to share that with y'all while it was on my mind and while I was in a talking mood Because the other day when I done my video it was like Oh, I was like the camera was on and I was like 
I lost everything. Everything I wanted to talk to about about my papa and the way I grew up just flew out of my mind. Just flew out of my mind. So we'll revisit that when um, in August when it's my grandmother's birthday. We'll talk about him again. But we got the okra. It's coming up. It's doing good. But we'll save that for the farm tour. We'll save the herbal garden for the farm tour. We'll just have a farm tour for you this week. So, if, yeah. so we're going to end this and we'll let Elijah talk with me. That's my grandson, Elijah. He's a Grammy's boy. Actually, I've got four of them. He's a twin. His brother doesn't wear glasses. You'll see him from time to time. And I've got the younger ones. I've got uh, Jason Bow. Um, they'll be here. They're traveling back from out of state today. So we are loving life here on the farm. Very blessed. Very tired at times. But it's all worth it. It's all totally worth it. And because they were so good, I'm going to give them a treat when I get off here. Because they are begging for me. They want me so bad to come and love on them. Because it's Sunday. And we go to church. And we have church. And we buy groceries. And we do this and that. So I'm not out a lot on the farm on Sunday. So they feel like they've been neglected. Poor babies. But anyway. Um... Again, I'm Beth with Heavenly Harvest Homestead. Thank you for watching. And I do pray that you will share this page, that you will like it, that you will comment below, and that you will subscribe, and that you will ring that bell. Alrighty, remember what I always say. I'm not going to leave any of my videos without saying it. So say it with me. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Loves. See you later.